to my channel and here I'll be explaining to you how you can solve this particular problem. Uh, as we have here, the two views of a block are shown. Draw it in oblique projection with face A parallel to the plane of projection. This is face A that uh, they are referring to. And these views are given a first angle projection. This is the front elevation and this is the plan as you are supposed to know that. Um, if you are watching my video for the first time, thank you. And I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Put on notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, notified and help me share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students and it's very important that you practice this subject this is a practical subject when you practice it you become a master at it now i'm solving this particular problem because uh, uh you will be given as an assignment in school or you will be given as an exam uh, question and what we are going to do here is to make use of 45 degrees square to produce the shape and then we have to be very careful as we are told that this particular view which is view a or face a should be on a uh, plane of projection so what's the plane pro of projection i'm going to show you here so let's start um so the first that we need to do is to draw a horizontal line and this horizontal line is our plane of projection so i need to move this up a bit okay so we we'll draw horizontal line here like this okay so then we are going to draw a vertical line at this point okay what i want to do actually is to produce phase a that we are given here so this is phase a so we are going to bring out this shape for let's bring out this shape first that's what i want to do so we have that the length from here to here is 70 millimeters and this cent vertical center line is 35 millimeters from this end why distance from here to here is 40 millimeters as we have here and distance of this center line from this end is 20 millimeters and this shape here so we have this time from here to here to be 10 and from here to here is 15 millimeters so we we'll bring out this shape right now so i will take a measurement of 70 millimeters from this point so this is 70 millimeters then i'm going to draw a vertical line at this point like this then i'm going to take a measurement of 40 millimeters so that I can bring out that face A, the shape of face A as we are given. So here you draw horizontal line, normal horizontal line here. So this is it. Alright, so then the next that we are going to do is to come around here. So I will take a measurement of 15 millimeters from this end. This is 15 millimeters. Then I will draw a vertical line. Like this okay then i will take a measurement of 10 millimeters down as we have it there so here i will draw horizontal line all right so then there's something that we need to uh, take note of here so this particular feature that we have here you must be able to see it you must be able to see it so that means what we need to do or what we are expected to do is to take our 45 degrees S square and draw a line in this direction. So we draw a line in this direction like this. So here I'm going to project this point. So draw a line from this point here like this. Also from this point I will draw a line with 45 degrees S square and then from this point I will draw a line with 45 degrees S square and then I will come to this side and also draw this line in this direction like this so now i'm going to take a measurement of 40 millimeters as we have that as we have this this in the plan that this time from year to year in the plan is 40 millimeters so i'm going to take a measurement of 40 millimeters from this point okay so this is 40 millimeters so here i will draw a vertical line like this and then so and from here i will also from this point here so i have to take a measurement of 40 millimeters you have to take that measurement 40 millimeters so this is 40 so i'm going to join this together join this together like this okay then at this point i will also take a measurement of 40 millimeters 
Okay. Then here I will join this together. And from here, I just need to draw a horizontal line from this point. So I may decide to take the measurement on this line. There's no problem. But I will just join this together like this. So we have the uh, we have that part of the top view. So what we already have for the top view, we already have this rectangle, which is this, and then this rectangle here. So we have it here. So and then so the next that we are going to do now, before I will bring out the shape with the use of T continuous line, so let us bring out this cylindrical part. This cylindrical part. So what we need to do, the diameter of that cylinder is uh, 30 millimeters, but let's get the center lines. So from here, we take 20 millimeters for the center line, horizontal center line. And from here, we are going to take 35 millimeters from either of the two ends. 35 millimeters. So this is 35. So I'm going to draw a center line here. Okay, then I will draw horizontal center line here. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do here now, as we know that diameter of the of the uh, cylinder is 30 millimeters, so the length is 40 millimeters. So I will need to construct a square on this face. I need to construct a square on this face, a square of... Uh, okay, so that's 15 millimeters, so 15 millimeters. Okay, that's 15 millimeters and then 15 millimeters here. So making 30 millimeters. So, and then uh, on the vertical side, I will also take 15, 15. So 15 down here. So this is 15 millimeters. And I will take 15 millimeters up here. So I'm going to complete a square here. Then I will draw a vertical line. Alright, so then I'm going to join this diagonal. I'll join this diagonal together. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do here is to put the big point of my compass at this point. So I think this is 15 millimeters. So from here, I'm going to draw. So from here, I'm going to draw an arc like this. So I will stop it on the diagonal line for this part. So I may still need to come back and do something here, but just let me uh, leave it like this first. Okay. Then, uh, the next thing that we are going to do, we need to construct uh, the same square at the front. So we take a measurement of 40 minutes. But before that, we have to project this line with 45 degree cell square. So that's what we are expected to do. So you draw this line in this direction. I'm coming to this point here. So you draw a line in this direction. And also from this point, we draw a line in this direction. Then we have to take a measurement of 40 millimeters the length of the or the height of the of the uh, cylinder is 40 or i will call it the length is 40 millimeters so here i will draw a vertical line here so then from this point i will draw horizontal line normal horizontal line so this is um this is oblique projection so then I will draw this line, then I will complete this to make it a square. Like this. The next thing I'm going to do is to connect this diagonal together. I connect this diagonal together. And I will also connect this diagonal. Okay, that's already connected. So this is the center point. So this is the center point. So I'll just take my compass. So um, let me also include the horizontal uh, center line. Okay, so 
Then I put a point of my compass here with that same 15 millimeters at the center here. Then I will draw a complete circle. So this is 15, so there might have been something. Yeah, this is 15 millimeters, okay? Um, all right, I'm not going to uh, mind this uh, error. So what I just need to do is to connect this point on the diagonal and connect this point together. So this is it. All right, so I'll join this together and then coming here, I will also join this together like this. All right, so that's the uh, cylinder. So the next thing we are going to do is to make this part thick. So I'm going to pause the video and do that, then I'll come back after that. All right, so this is the oblique view that we are supposed we are asked to uh, produce uh, for the given view. So as simple as I've done it here, all you need to do is to practice, and when you practice it, you become a master. Thank you and keep on practicing. God bless you.